All right, lesson three, creating and editing symbols. So let's get started. It says double click the end file. Mm. I guess that would mean we need to go into here. Where have I got my, I'm not even sure where I keep my documents. Over here somewhere, each bit, lesson three, end. Double click that. And it will show you, or at least it, I was hoping it would, show you what the, maybe if you double click this, yeah, that's fine. And hit command return, or command enter, and it'll show you what it's, basically showing you what it should end up looking like. Okay, that's fine. Now we'll close that. And let's see. Action script three, six hundred by four fifty. So action script three, six hundred by four fifty. So kind of a smaller stage for this one. <clears throat> now it says it says uh, importing Adobe Illustrator files. We need to. I will import the stage. And now we'll need to go to Peach Pit, lesson three, probably the start folder. Characters AI. Okay. So we'll hit open. And let's see, it's given us a bunch of different options here. Hero and... What's that? What is that? Okay, they've got different layers. Oops. So essentially, hero and robot, and I guess this reveals all the different layers. If you didn't want, you could actually pick and choose which layers. So hero and robot will hit import. Now they end up on the stage, about like so. Using simple import options, let's say layer conversion. Let's see, often you don't need to find control. <laughs> advanced options. Uh, let's see. Okay. So uh, convert layers to flash layers. I think that probably must have happened because these look right. The heroes on one, robots on the other. All right, so these are symbols, I believe, because they've got the blue box around them, or at least they're groups. And it talks about symbols on page 93 and movie clip symbols, button symbols, graphic symbols. They're all different types of symbols. Um, let's see, they want you to convert this robot into a symbol. So you can right click and say convert to symbol, or you can hit function F8, or you can go up here and say modify convert to symbol, all does the same, and they want you to call it robot, and unfortunately I didn't put the, uh, I'm, I think I'm seeing they want the registration point at zero, 0, so here's one good thing to know, break apart gets it out of the symbol. So now I'm going to do it again. And I'm going to make sure that I put the registration point in the top left corner. Not sure why they want that, but maybe as we work through this lesson it'll reveal itself. And they want movie clip type, so that's all good. And hit OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I'll call it Robot 2 because 
even though I broke apart that other one, it's still in my library. So here's the first one. So I'm going to actually delete that one. And then I'm going to rename this just plain robot so that it's consistent with the book. All right, so now I probably want the same thing done for the other one. Oh no, not yet. All right, so import Adobe Photoshop files. Uh, let's see. Okay, I guess maybe they're showing us other options. Now you'll know, import a Photoshop for the background. Mm -hmm. Select the top layer in your timeline. Okay. And lesson three start folder background PSD. So they want file import to stage. background PSD. Yeah, it's not letting me access that. Maybe I need another layer. No? That's going to be a bummer. Yeah, that's not working for me. Options. All files. All right, glad I figured that out. So it wasn't giving me access to it till I enabled all files. So, okay. And now it gives us that prompt. Place object start position. Original position. Uh, let's see. Flare. And the other one is named background. Alright. So, in, import options for flare. Bitmap image. Top left corner. Okay. I think I'll just hit import for that. Or before I do that, I better click on background and make sure that that's right. Bitmap image, top left corner. I guess we can hide the advanced options, maybe not. Okay, so import. So now we have flare, background, and there's that layer that I created that I don't actually need. Okay. So, yeah, I guess they're showing us the library now where you can see all your files that got brought in. And let's see. They want us to put the hero. And the robot above those other layers. And editing and managing symbols now. Let's see. Adding fo adding folders to organize. So you can make another folder in here. Let's see. Um, right click new folder. Probably characters. Characters. And we'll put robot inside there and where is oh, we only have robots so far maybe I did miss the moment that they made hero okay so now he's inside there so we can drag him into the character folder characters folder all right editing a symbol from the library double click the robot so we double click it now it shows the robot in a completely clean environment. Sometimes that's a good idea. Or they're also showing you that um, as far as where you're at, here's scene one and you're inside the robot symbol. Um, also, this is contained in a group. So if you double click, you'll see group now. So we've gone even deeper. 
And once you're in here, you can actually edit. You can edit this in detail. You can change the color of this section. Let's see, can you change the color? Let's try it. Yeah. Well, we don't want to do that. But anyways, you're down at the level where you can actually make edits. So next, let's see, editing a symbol in place. Okay, so they want you to know that if you're out here, you double click, then you're actually editing it in its place. And then you'll be able to see the background as well instead of the clean environment as um, before. So let's see, editing in place. Double click the group to edit it. And changing the size and position of instances. You can have a multiple instances. Now you'll add a few more robots and create a small robot island or army. Select the robot layer in your timeline, drag another robot from this library. Okay, so let's go out to scene one. And here's our robot layer. And they're just showing you that you can make copies. You could hit Command C, Command V. That's one way to look at it. You can hold Option, like select the robot, hold Option, and drag out another one. Um, okay, it looks like they actually do want us to follow through with that, so we'll put one right there. And then it looks like they've reflected it horizontally. So modify, transform, flip horizontal. And I'm going to hit Command 2 so I can see that better. Command 1 zooms out a little bit. Uh, facing the other direction. Yeah, another way to do that is to grab this, free transform, and you could, you could flip it. You could grab this right here and flip him. Though I like him to be the same aspect ratio. And it's like they're asking you to make them smaller. So you could hold down shift, I believe shift does it, and then it'll keep the right ratio. So we'll make, and then I'll hold down um, option, so it makes a couple of them. And it looks like we've moved, you're gonna have to move him over, move him to the middle-ish. And I'm gonna drag this up so I can see a little better. And it looks pretty good, except for he should be on the stage. Bring his feet in to the window. And maybe these two. Let's see, I'm gonna lock everything except for the flare in the background. And I'm gonna arrow key this over. Whoops, looks like I Locked the wrong layer, so fix that. Move them over. That looks about like the book. Uh, by the way, I should hit save. And should have done that already. Working copy. Cool. And that gets us to rulers and guides. Where they talk about snapping objects. Let's see, enter 435 is the new pixel value of the guide. Yeah, so if we go up to view and say guides, show guides, or is it the grid? Looks like it's already on show guides, but I don't see the guides. View rulers. Okay, there. There's a ruler. And pixel value for the guide. So the move guide dialog. Let's see, double click the guide with the selection tool. Okay. 